President Amon sends his well wishes. Uh, he was unable to attend today uh, at a different meeting, but he appreciates all the counselors and all, the, all those involved in helping our students have a wonderful experience. Um, and thanks to um, all of our four years and other community colleges in this, in this call today, I'll try to keep brief. Um, much of what has been said is very similar for College of Eastern Idaho. Again, that's my contact information if any of the counselors have any questions. So this very exciting photo of um, students jumping in the air, of course, means that, that uh, student orientation is going to make all of their dreams come true. Uh, no, so our student orientation advising and registration um, will be happening in two formats. We have an online orientation that we've been doing for some time uh, that students can choose to do. And we also have in-person options with physical distancing provided uh, as well. Either a type of uh, student orientation is required um, and students of course, will be kept in regular contact for any changes that may be required for new student orientation. So instruction is going to look a little different this year. Um, we're planning for all, uh, well, three large broad categories of scenarios, but really um, we're willing, like the other institutions have mentioned, to pivot and, and change as needed. Uh, we don't think scenario one is likely, that all normal and there's no physical distancing. We think that that's very unlikely. We have contingency plans for all potential scenarios. The most likely scenario is face-to-face -face with social distancing for 20, uh, sorry, one third of our classes and two thirds of our classes to be offered online. Um, we are also prepared to go fully online again, if necessary, but only if the governor decrees or if it's a, it's a major safety issue um, based on uh, recommendations from Eastern Idaho Public Health, state, national, et cetera, as well as consulting with Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center. We have everything planned for with instruction for face-to-face -face with physical distancing. We have large online offerings. As I mentioned, two-thirds of our programs will be offered in online format, one-third in face-to-face -face with proper social distancing, particularly for classes that are difficult to deliver online and for CTE trades, et cetera, where, um, where essential programs, healthcare, et cetera, where it's necessary to have those options. All CTE labs will be offered face-to-face -face with proper physical distancing. We have also uh, created special training for faculty to teach online um, and our summers, since they're currently fully online, um, you know, they've been going through those processes for quite some time. We've been scaling up our online for about two years. So we're prepared for any additional um, scaling if necessary. Um, our student services are being made available to uh, all students in a variety of formats, virtual face to face with physical distancing and um, telephone calls. Um, we have plans for no delays in opening classes, currently the normal schedule, but we are prepared to pivot if necessary. Um, and uh, we, will, we will do whatever it takes. We have masks being, being required for students on campus, but we are also providing them if they don't have them for themselves and masks required in classes. Uh, oh, and one last thing, as far as preparation, some of our student services are being moved to larger classrooms that aren't being utilized for this fall so that there is uh, proper physical distancing. We have measured spaces for all of our classrooms for physical distancing, and we've also considered hallway spacing. And for all student services, uh, there, are, there are screens as well as six foot distancing for, for all uh, individuals providing services, as well as for any uh, students that, that, that want to visit. We've created all of our waiting rooms and lobbies with proper physical distancing. We have alternative scheduling, hybrid classes, um, increased scaling of hygiene, similar to the other four years, what they have mentioned. Increased mental health counseling services, both physically distanced as well as through Zoom. And uh, upscaling that as the demand and need has been for student uh, services. And we, this summer, or sorry, this spring, we implemented uh, calling every single student and doing a, a survey and check on their well-being and their student success as a retention measure. And um, we're happy to report that our summer semester is up 51% in our enrollment from last summer. And we believe it's largely due to these uh, measures that we've taken to call every single student. We will do the same thing in the second and third weeks of the summer term, as well as for fall. So we are really focused on student retention and increasing enrollment. And our fall enrollment is up at present 9%. Um, we expect that to go up when we open on the 15th for additional um, uh, face-to-face -face appointments for student services to help increase our enrollments and help meet the students' needs in, in, in our region. Um, we plan to have some activities and student life available options for students in the fall. 
uh, but we are anticipating that, that gatherings will be smaller um, and we're anticipating events will be smaller and we'll have proper physical distancing. So that's, that's everything. If there are any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, admissions at cei.edu, uh, student.concern at cei.edu, or you can call our main number, which uh, we, we, we can provide 208-524-3000. Thank you so much.